How to know if you're a sex addict. The first step toward recovery is admitting that your love of getting it on is getting to be a problem. You will need self-examination and brutal honesty. Step one, calculate how many hours a day you think about sex, look at porn, pursue sex, and or have sex. If it's more than a few hours a day, you may have a problem. Step two, examine the impact that sex is having on your life. If it has cost you your job, your significant other, and or your last tread of dignity, it's a problem. Step three, determine if your behavior is putting you at risk. Have you ever worried that a conquest might A, be using you, B, give you an STD, or C, strangle you? If yes, is this an occasional worry or a daily concern? Waking up naked in a stranger's bed should not be a routine occurrence. Step four, tally up your sexual partners. Signs of a problem? It's over 100 and you're neither a rock star nor a professional athlete. Step five, review your masturbatory habits. Is a day without self-gratification like a day without sunshine? If more than one friend has gently suggested you need help, you probably do. Step six, see if you can go without sex for a week. If you fail, or if your self-denial ends up in a three-day catch-up orgy, seek help. Did you know chronic insomnia can increase libido and lead to compulsive sexual behaviors 